Hello, this is a video on how to play Baker's Dozen. Now, Baker's Dozen is a version of Solitaire, and there are many versions of Solitaire, by the way. There are probably 1,000 versions of Solitaire, uh, but this one is particularly similar as all solitaires have some degree of similarity but it is also a bit different so what do you need you need a 52 card deck the game is set up by creating 13 stacks of four cards each one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen every stack has four cards one two three four one two three four and so on you start by laying out now if you're playing in real life you start by laying out 13 face-up cards then add a card on top of the previous card with the bottom card still visible notice how in all of these piles each pre each card is still visible it is not a stack of cards in which there are four cards with only the top card being visible. Every card is visible. So you just place the bottom card a bit lower, such that the top card is still visible. Once each stack, so once, you've, once you are done dealing all the cards, move all the kings to be the bottom card of their stack. So notice how the king is at the bottom here. It's at the bottom here. It's at the bottom here. It's at the bottom here. Note that all cards must be visible at all times, so you must lay out the cards as seen exactly in this format, with every card visible. This means that each new subsequent card placed is placed a bit lower, to ensure that the previous card is still visible. The objective of the game is to get all of your cards into the foundation piles, right here. A foundation pile is started with an ace, the lowest, and built up to the king, the highest. There are four foundation piles, one for each suit. So that's just the basic rules of the game, and you will obviously understand as we play. The game begins by making available moves. Cards can be moved from one stack to another if the card being moved is one rank lower than the card it is being moved to. So, in this case, we are not worried about color. In some solitaire games, you have to worry about color. In this version of solitaire, known as Baker's Dozen, you only have to have your card be one rank lower. So, let's just start off playing the game. We have an ace here. That begins our foundation pile. Now we have a 5, we have a 5, now we can move the 5 there, or we can move the 5 there. Notice how color does not matter. We have another ace, that starts a foundation pile. Then we have a 2, that builds on top of the ace. The 2 of clubs builds on top of the ace of clubs. Now we are trying to look for, well that ace is still relatively high up. That ace can be gotten to if we can get this queen out of the way. Notice how we will move this 9 there and then move this 9 here. That allows us to move this 6 down to the 7. That allows us to move the queen to the king. That allows us to move the jack to the queen. Now we've started the foundation pile for the Ace of Spades. Now, what is our objective here? Well, the Ace of Hearts is relatively high up. As a result, it's quite hard to get the Ace of Clubs. Notice the move I just tried to make. I'm sorry, the Ace of Hearts. Notice the move I just tried to make. Only the top card of a stack can be moved, even if the cards are in sequence within a stack. So notice how this 10 and the 9 are in sequence within the stack. Does not matter. Only the 9 can be moved because only the 9 is the top card. 
Once a stack is emptied, the open space remains empty. No cards can be moved to it. And once a card is put into a foundation pile, it cannot be returned to a stack. And so that's all the basic rules of Baker's Dozen. Um, and we'll sum them up at the end. And you'll also see them in action here as we play. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, we have a 5 and a 3. So we have a 5 there. We would want to get this 8. That allows us, well, we can't move that anymore. That allows us to move this 6. Nope. We're kind of stuck here. The 3 of diamonds can go up there. Um, I did not mean to make that move. But the 2 of spades can also go up there. Now we have a 5. If we can move this 9 to an available 10, that would be fantastic. The 4 can go right. The 4 of diamonds is right there. We have... Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. What I want to do is I want to get rid of this 9. We can get rid of this 9 by getting a 10 out of from here. We'll remove that 10 by first removing this 8 over here. We will then remove that 8 over here. That opens up this 10. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong move. We'll move this 4 right over there. We'll then move this 8 right over here. I mean right over here. As a result, this opens up this 10. Oh, but that contradicts what we were trying to do, so we are not going to do that. See, this is where the game gets a little tough. You are trying to put yourself in a position where you can win. Now, what move can be made here? And so this is where Solitaire gets very tough. Move that 8 there, move that 10 there. Actually, we will stop that. We will go moving this 7 there. Moving this 7 there, moving this 10 there, moving this 9 there, moving this 10 there, moving this queen there. Now we have unlocked the ace of hearts. Now, we need the three of clubs. Where is the three of clubs? Three of clubs is way too hard for us to get. However, if we move this... Nope, we still cannot get it. Where is the four of diamonds? That is also quite high up. The two of hearts is quite high up. And the three of spades is 
know where to be. The three of spades is quite close. So we're going to move this eight there, move that nine there, unlock the three of spades. Where's the four of spades? The four of spades is quite far now. Can we get to it somehow? Does not seem like we can. So now we must change our strategy again. Actually, we move that five there and then move the six here. That allows us to move the queen to an available spot. If we can move this eight there, move the queen. We'll move that nine there. We unlock the two of hearts. Then we can do the three of hearts. Then we can do the four of hearts. Then we can do the five of hearts. And so you notice that I am not really talking about my thought process of moving cards around. Because solitaire is more practice. It is hard. And the only way you can actually get good at solitaire um, is by practice. And some of the maneuvers I just did, um, I've been practicing uh, solitaire and playing uh, for a little while now. So it's easier for me. But hopefully by watching my maneuvers, you can sort of see how to play solitaire. Um, now what we're going to do, we need the three of clubs. The three of clubs is right there. We could get to that somehow. Um, if we can move this nine and move that 10. How would we do that? I do not know. Notice how we cannot move a card to an empty pile. Once the pile is empty, it remains empty. We need a three of clubs. The three of clubs is right there. I believe we might be able to get to that. However, we do need to make some adjustments. What else do we want? We want the four of diamonds. The four of diamonds is up there. We want the six of hearts. Six of hearts is right there. So now we want the seven of hearts. The seven of hearts is right there. The four of spades. Four of spades is also accessible. So the three of clubs and the four of spades. Now unlocks a four of clovers. Now what do we have to do? We have to get the three of clovers somehow. That means we have to move this queen somehow. How do we move this queen? It's a great question. It seems quite hard. Eight. Nine. I believe we're stuck here. And so we'll be right back. And so it does seem like we are stuck. And when this happens, that means you have lost the game of Baker's Dozen Solitaire when there are no possible moves left. You win by moving every single card into the foundation pile. If a player gets stuck with no available moves to make, the game is lost. So, what, once again, what are the rules? So you create 13 stacks of four cards each, adding a card on top of the previous card with the bottom card still visible. Once each stack has four cards, you move the kings to the bottom of the card to the, be the bottom card in their stack. You want to get all the cards into the foundation pile. A foundation pile is started with an ace and built up to the king. There are four foundation piles, one for each suit. Cards can be moved from one stack to another if the card being moved is one rank lower than the card it is being moved to. The suits of the cards do not matter. Only the top card of a stack can be moved. Once an ace is, ace is open, it can be moved to start its foundation pile. 
Once a foundation pile is started, the next card in sequence can be added to the foundation pile when available. The player will continue to make open moves with the goal of moving all cards to their foundation pile. Only the top card of a stack can be moved, even if the cards are in sequence within the stack. Once the stack is emptied, the open space remains empty. No cards can be moved to it. Once a card is put into the foundation pile, it cannot be returned to a stack. If a player can move all the cards to their foundation piles, the game is won. If a player gets stuck with no available moves to make, as we have right here, the game is lost. That wraps up how to play Baker's Dozen Solitaire. Thank you for watching.